Hi, everyone, and welcome to another A&B Horror Movies video. I'm Aaron. I'm Ben. And today we are joined by a very special guest, Jason Yashannon. Welcome, hey. Jason. Hey, 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 you said my last name right. I did Woo. some research, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're very uh, happy to have Jason on. He is the lead actor in Poltergeist, Night of the Chicken Dead, a trauma film that hopefully everyone watching is familiar with. He's also an author. Um, his new book is called Mysterious Happenings at Two Morning View, which is quite good. Um, awesome, actually, I should say. I just read Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. But we'll get to that. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see. But first, why don't we talk a little bit about Poltergeist uh, first? And I do have some viewer questions that I'll get to. And I'm, um, I'm really curious to know what they are. But uh, okay. But we'll get to that. Anticipation, we'll get... right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we've got some horror trivia if we have time. Um, but let's jump right into Poltergeist. So, trauma film. Poultry. It Poultry. feels. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. What? Say Poltergeist or Poultry Ghost? <laughs> Poultry Geist. Geist. Yeah, I, I am at the wrong one. I thought you said Poltergeist. I was like, Poultry Geist. No, I'm talking. To <laughs> I, was talking I wish to I. You. I wish I had been in Poultry Geist. That's a good. That's a good movie. That's a good one. To, to I may not have been born yet. Actually, was I born? <laughs> when did that come out? Eighty. 80... Two, eighty-three. Uh, okay, I was. If, if, oh, if it was eighty-two, I was one years old. I was early eighties. Okay, yeah. well, nineteen eighty-one, right here. Okay. Um, Gemini. Gemini. May twenty-fifth. Seventy-six. So. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What was I going to say? I was talking well, to my neighbor today, walking my dog. I was like, "Yeah, I got an interview going on," and she's like, "Oh, cool. Who?" I was like, "The lead actor from Poultry Guys." She's like, "No way." I was like. <laughs> poultry guys yeah yeah she probably thought it was the guy yeah <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't watch horror movies so leave, leave it alone <laughs> um well i guess my first question for you is is what what was the um audition process like how how did you end up getting involved with this um awesome okay movie? all right so yeah see i'm definitely going to age myself here so uh this was <laughs> this was back in the days of no social media no mm -hmm. you know no electronic headshots you know i still had my old black and white my trusty black and white headshot that i had to mail not email i had to regularly put it in the mailbox with stamps you know to the trauma building which at the time was in uh hell's kitchen it's not there anymore it's in queens now i think but um oh, i didn't know okay yeah so um when i first moved to manhattan in 2003 2003 yes um there it still it still exists uh but i'm sure now it's more online but there's a publication called backstage and okay. basically what that was is every i think it came out every tuesday and it was a newspaper that you would buy and uh it just listed all the auditioning all the auditions that were going on you know in the city and so i every week would get it and go through and you know say oh that's a good one or that's a good one and when i came across this one it was you know looking for like kind of a geekier guy nerdy guy who um ends up being the hero you know in the in this horror movie so I, I I mean I will admit I did not know what trauma was at the time I was just like awesome this sounds like something that I could do maybe so I sent in I mailed in my headshot and then two weeks later got a phone call saying yeah we'd like you you know we'd like you to come in uh, an audition come to the trauma building and uh and so the initial audition was just, you know, you got your sides, which are like your copy of the script of the scene that they want you to read. Um, so uh, you, had to, you had to do this, the scene. You also had to sing. And I sang, I remember exactly what I sang. I sang uh, Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. Oh, good choice. Uh, I, I sang it a cappella. Nice. Um, <laughs> In, the, then, in a uh, quiet room, right? That's not. Awkward. We were in like a room. I was in a room with uh, <laughs> two two other people. One one was running the camera, and then someone was like behind the table, reading opposite of me, and and you know taking down notes. Actually, the guy who was running the camera, his name is Matt Wolf. He now uh, runs his own casting uh, agency, which I've gone in for him a couple times to audition for oh, some cool. stuff that he runs. He did not cast me, but. Uh, that's okay. No hard, no hard feelings. <laughs> no. We can um, edit this part out if you want. <laughs> yeah. no, no, uh, um, and then, um, and then from there, you know, I had callbacks and more callbacks and each time like doing scenes with different Wendy's and, and, and things like that. Um, they did have me get down to my boxer briefs, 
at the very final callbacks because they wanted to know, okay, would you be comfortable with this? There's going to be some, not full nudity, but you know, you are going to have to be, you know, sure. You know, almost naked. Yeah, I mean, at least they're up front. With- uh, the, the guy, do you remember this specifically too? The guy who went in ahead of me got fully naked in the callback. And I think that's uh, in poultry in motion. Oh, it country. might be. I, I have not seen the whole thing. They it do cover been. it. They blur and his face out, but they show him fully nude. They do? Okay, yeah. well, yeah. so after he left, I came back in and they said, well, you don't have to get naked, but that guy got naked. And I said, nah, I'm good. I'm I'm not going to get naked. I'll just leave my boxer <laughs> briefs on. I mean, if I don't have to, I guess I won't. Um, but yeah, and so then, and then after cool. that callback, the naked callback, Mm -hmm. um that was when uh, i was offered the job but i mean it was probably like eight or nine rounds of callbacks wow so yeah it was pretty yeah it was pretty intense like and the naked callback was it just you and that guy was it down to just the two of you or were there others there was it was definitely like a smaller pool now right um sometimes Mm -hmm. you don't always see like you know depending on what time you go you're up against you know someone could come in earlier or after you but um but uh, yeah, so that was the that was the last callback, and then um, and then yeah, and then they cool. said, okay, well, you're gonna go to Buffalo pretty soon. And uh, I remember calling my brother saying, yeah, I just got this this job. I, I got this film. Um, it's some company called Troma, and he he went nuts. He because <laughs> he knew what it was. I felt bad. Oh, I yeah, never, yeah. oh yeah. my god, you're in a Troma film. That's amazing. Do, do you have any idea what what this is? And I was like. Well, no, I don't, but um, he's like, oh, oh, just get weighed. It's got a huge cult following and blah, blah, blah. And, and I have learned that, yes, it does. He was right. It does. And um, it, it was definitely an experience. Uh, they gave me a couple of films to watch to get ready. Yes. Um, I did watch Terror Firmer. Okay, that's a good one. Yep. And yep. I thought to myself, holy shit, what the hell am I getting myself into? That was the last, <laughs> I turned it off and then I shipped off to Buffalo. Um, Toxic and, Avenger, was that one they gave you? Uh, they didn't give me that one, but I, I've since, you know, seen mm-hmm. more. Um, what was yeah. the other one they gave me? I think they gave me Cannibal the Musical, maybe? Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Um, Tromeo and Juliet? Oh, that was it, yeah, they gave me that one too. Yeah, okay. so they gave me a couple, but I only watched Terra Firmer and I was like, oh my god <laughs> what, what have i done <laughs> but yeah but actually speaking of of uh trauma films i'm uh going next friday they're they're um premiering a new one literally like two minutes from where i live here in new jersey um eating miss oh. campbell um oh cool in, uh, in a, yeah um it, so i live in a uh, film New yeah film. yeah and actually lloyd's gonna be there kevin smith is gonna do like an intro to it um because he owns he owns this movie theater that they're showing it at now um oh, i don't know if nice. you're a kevin smith fan um, yeah yeah sure so if you're ever in new jersey uh in a town called atlantic highlands there's mm-hmm. a movie theater called smod castle cinemas i, I don't quite get the name Ma- okay i was hoping maybe you would no well, i don't get it again I- Smod Castle, S M O D Castle Cinema, Smod Castle Cinema. Ben, know. is that ringing a bell for you? Is that an English term? Uh, is that a uh, no? No, <laughs> no. Okay, I have no idea why. It's called maybe that. some of the viewers can add a comment. Um, maybe, maybe and, if someone's and listening. Let to us this, know. They can, right. they can be like, we don't. Why. Yeah, yeah. We tend not to do a whole lot of research for our videos, which <laughs> makes it more fun. <laughs> um, ben, you maybe, got. Something. You know what? Maybe it has something to do with one of his movies. Oh, maybe. I, I will admit, no, we I could look it up on our supercomputer. Yeah. I haven't seen every Kevin our mini supercomputer film. I haven't um, either. But uh, but yeah, yeah, but so they're premiering that next Friday. So Lloyd will be there. Kevin Smith will be there. The director of Eating Miss Campbell will be there. So I'm excited. I you know I'll you know yeah. be a cool experience. Can't so. go wrong with a title like that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, see, I told you I rambled before the. <laughs> That's okay. I don't even know what the question, initial question, question was. <laughs> question number one down. I think you okay, answered. We haven't it. even started yet. <laughs> so well, then I'll let you go next, man. <laughs> um, I was just wondering. There, the effects in this was brilliant, um, and it had a proper good trauma feel to it because I was actually grossed out <laughs> in this film. 
Richie done what he was supposed to. But um, have you got any idea how much fake blood was used in this movie? Oh, like the like the amount, like how much yeah. actual like gallons. Yeah. Or- I I don't I don't know the exact number. I can tell you though that um, so everyone was housed together, right? Everyone was housed together, and it was in this old. It was a house connected to a church, so I don't know what it was or what it you. What are they? Is that like the rectory? Maybe it was like an old rectory or something like that. The, I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. The special yeah. effects team was in the basement right down there like that was their realm down there and uh i mean there was they were i I swear to god they must have had people on 24 hours a day making this stuff right and just down there and you could go down there and like hang out um but i don't know exactly how much fake blood there was like number wise but i do know that um the the scene with the giant jerking off of the chicken yeah that i yes. think was one of the wasn't, best i think that was actually <laughs> it may have just been like warm milk <laughs> mixed with some other shit oh um, my God. <laughs> and and i do remember that the fake vomit had bread torn okay. up and and thrown into it i i'm not the answer oh, your question sense. i'm not answering your question as to how much was used yeah. But um, if you wanted to know how to make your own fake vomit, I can tell you that you have to crumble up some bread and throw it in there. Um, that, and yeah, milk, milk and that's food your neck, coloring. Milk, food coloring, <laughs> bread. Um, I don't know the exact number, but maybe, you know what, maybe your, um, your other viewer, um, you had a couple of questions, right? Maybe, I do, yes. Maybe, maybe you could, could throw that back out to your viewers yeah. and say, does I will. anyone know? Right. Yeah, um, we always... You know, how many pints of fake blood and how many gallons um, or gallons yeah. of pints. Um, so with that, was there any of it that made you feel like quote grossed out yourself? Because a lot of it looked pretty. I was really, <laughs> I mean, I, I thought it was really fun to 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 do. I mean, I, I thought to myself, when when else am I ever gonna experience something like this? Um I wasn't really grossed out. I, I really actually kind of enjoyed it, like being covered in that stuff it was like you were on double dare right you remember double dare where they oh yeah yeah well you ben i don't know if you know that you know double dare that you always getting covered with the slime and stuff like that yeah Yeah, we have think yeah yeah. the only the only thing was and i think i had mentioned this maybe before was there were some times when the showers weren't they didn't have any hot water all right so trying to get that shit off like you know in the cold (laughs) cold shower water i mean that that wasn't like pleasant i mean there's nothing worse than a cold shower anyway but <laughs> but then when you're actually trying to like scrub this crap off of you um that was maybe unpleasant but i i, I i'd like to think maybe i was a trooper though and like whatever they wanted to do i was like all right let's do it let's do it more blood more more fake vomit more fake come let's let's do it come on i'm all for it uh and that was one of i do remember like being on set some of the days and Lloyd being screaming these things like more blood, you motherfucker. Come on. Fuck you guys. More vomit. Come on. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you were making the movie, I mean, it sounds like it was a lot of fun filming it. Um, just the way you're talking about it, your excitement about it. It's very obvious that it was a really awesome experience for you. When you were making it, did you think it would have such longevity um, that people would still be talking about it so many years later? And what would you say is your favorite memory from working on this film? Oh, my favorite memory? So longevity and favorite memory, I've grouped them together. I, I, you know, the, the <laughs> longevity, you know, when I, again, when I first booked the role and I was telling my brother about it and he did mention about the cult um, following, I, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess, I guess I'm not surprised. He did say like, you don't understand. This is like, these fans are, they're, they're deep and they are committed. Yes. And so I, you know, it, it's funny. It almost seems like it's more popular now. I don't know if that makes sense. It seems like it's, I'm getting more of these type of things with you and some other, other folks <laughs> now than when it first came out. I don't know why that is. 
Picking um, up momentum. I mean, maybe this new release. I mean, when did this come out? This edition. Uh, I do. I, I want to say it was a little while ago. I remember doing the commentary for that. Um, yeah, yeah, you're in the special features. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, I, so I guess I'm not surprised by the longevity, just because I, I have now witnessed firsthand, like the the just the fans and the dedication. And uh, so I'm not surprised by the longevity. I, I'm, I'm very honored to be a part of it, um, you know. And as far as my favorite memory, I really, really liked the scene with Lloyd and I in the basement when we were oh, yeah, that's good. dancing and singing together. That was the maybe the the hardest awesome. film to scene, the the <laughs> hardest film to the hardest scene, scene to, to film, film. <laughs> <laughs> only because because exactly why just thinking about it is making me laugh could you imagine trying to act opposite of him with his ball hanging out no. and like <laughs> and like dancing and around with his dancing and... <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> you know, it, right. was, it was ridiculous some things you can't make up <laughs> so you know uh, so that may be like one of my most fond memories i also also meeting everybody and just seeing like the dedication and like i mean everyone is i mean some of these people are not even getting paid and they are like in it yeah yes know? and they talked about that in the documentary and, i mean they want to be there they they came from all over all over the world right be be part a part of this that's pretty cool especially i mean like you know if you think about it like you know, to not get paid to, to, to work under the conditions that they were working in. That's pretty awesome. I mean, so I, I do think back a, a, a lot about the people that, you know, I met and, and some I've, I have gotten to see again. Um, I know we were talking about some of the conventions. Um, oh, one guy was like, yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Like, oh my God, it's, how long has it been? I mean, it's probably been like 10 years, but like, you know, <laughs> that's they're awesome. So that's, that's kind of cool. So did I answer that question? I think I answered I that. think so. Yeah, no, that was a good yeah. answer. I think so, yeah. You got, ben, you got one more? Then maybe yeah, we can do the viewer questions. Um, and we got to talk about the book, too. So so you just said, uh, what was your favorite part? So was there a part that you didn't enjoy so much about it? or You know, <laughs> that I didn't enjoy. Well, <laughs> I will say, I mean, like, some of the conditions were, were kind of tricky. <laughs> like, um, I think I had mentioned this before. Um, the living conditions got a little dicey. I mean, you know, uh, I was in a room with five guys. Now, luckily, we had the only working air conditioning unit in the whole house. Well, at least you had that. So we had that. <laughs> but that room by the end of that summer, oh, my <laughs> God. I mean, it smelled like cheese and oh, gosh farts farts and cheese was oh, just like man. it was like <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing like a, a dark dungeon that could be a yankee candle drawn. that's like a yankee candle scent <laughs> from poultry guys farts and cheese those, those tree like... air refreshers <laughs> that you hang in your car <laughs> so that you know that that was that got a little tricky you know um the um the uh and, and i had mentioned like sometimes the the shower not working being covered in all that stuff but that I mean that was kind of just like maybe at the time it was a bit of an annoyance now you look back on it and it was pretty funny uh, yeah um yeah. but I think the one thing that I wasn't prepared for was you know so, sometimes you know because it was um not a union film right like so there weren't any really rules like they could film all day and sometimes we did right yeah. I wasn't prepared because this was my, kind of my first experience for when like we were done or if like we got done with a scene that was you know special effects heavy and you're covered with all this stuff and you know sometimes people's tempers flared and people got like riled up and stuff i wasn't prepared when you stepped off to be then a camera like okay so jason tell us what how did you feel about blah blah and sometimes it's just kind of like oh okay i need a moment you know like yeah. i wasn't really I, I don't know if that's i wasn't prepared for that i didn't so I'd say maybe that was like my mm -hmm. least favorite because sometimes like you need some, I sound like such a jackass, but like sometimes you need like a little decompression time. You know, yeah. you just you just got done like filming yeah, of course. 10 hours and then it's like, let's film you some more. And so maybe that wasn't my 
favorite part, but so, so the I sound like such a diva. I sound like such a diva. I'm not. I swear. But we, you can know, ed- we can edit this part out. No, you can leave it on because I'm I want, kidding. I want I'm kidding. Like, we never, we never edit. He's such a diva. <laughs> <laughs> so they knew they were going to do the documentary while you they, were filming the movie. Okay, or? I think they did. I was not aware of that. Not that I, I'm, I was happy to be a part of it, but like, oh, so you're like, get away from me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do sound like that, don't I? Like, so like, <laughs> oh, it's one cool. Time, like, I'm, I'm like, joking. One time, one lady was like one lady was having like a real kind of like a breakdown and they were like, what's going on, Jason, how, what's wrong with that lady? And I was kind of like, guys, like, come on, you know, give her some space. Like, can we, can we, can we give her a little room to breathe? It, I think it was during the big massacre scene. Um, you know, when, when all, like every, all the zombies are like in eating the restaurant, yeah, in yeah. The restaurant yeah. um, if I'm remembering correctly. So that was maybe the one part that I wasn't crazy about um well you handled it well though i, I mean from what i saw until now now i'm like until now you fuckers you yeah, no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna find you <laughs> no, no. <laughs> all right let's go to the um, viewer questions I, and they are related to guys, so that okay it, it's fitting with what we're talking about um let's see the first one is from fake Voorhees. he asked what was it like working on a trauma <laughs> film trauma film and with lloyd kaufman well it was an experience to say the least i mean i will say that lloyd oh sorry i got the sun in my face here lloyd um treats the actors so well anything you need you know he's got your back um the crew not so much uh he was very yelly and screamy at the crew but i think i think you know that going into it right Like, I think that's part of his allure. Like, you want to experience the mayhem. And, like, just, it's like, I mean, it's like summer camp, right? It's like horror movie summer camp. It was sweaty. It was um, cramped, crowded. Uh, Everyone was hot. The food was not awesome. Uh, The living conditions were not ideal. But it was a lot of fun. So, I mean, it was a lot of fun working with him. He treated the actors so well. Um, Mm -hmm. I I have tried to get into other, you know, because I did have such a good time. Um, I was supposed to do a cameo in um, Shakespeare Shitstorm, I believe. But um, (laughs) now that I'm SAG, which is a Screen Actors Guild, um, I I actually cannot do any of his films technically unless he made oh. it union at least oh, for me for which you, is yeah. why oh, which is bad. which is why i was so mm-hmm. desperately trying to get into the remake of toxic avenger which is a huge hollywood remake yes but um that did not happen oh, i tried i tried my best bad. and that he had my back he, he he had my back um you know i i could i sent him my headshot he he passed it along you know, um, but in the end, um, just did not uh, go that's my too bad. Did Even not go my way. Part, small part. Yeah, I tried. I tried. I really awesome. like that was like my goal because I wanted to say like, you know, I went from trauma to Hollywood. Like, look at that. Look at that journey. R- yes. RB made it from yes. Tromaville to Hollywood, but and you could make a T-shirt out of that. That would. Be oh my awesome, God, that'd be. Right? Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be so cool. <laughs> Tattoo as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but but working with Lloyd was a blast. Um, definitely something I would do again if I ever had the chance. Cool. And you and you can tell if you haven't seen the documentary Poultry in Motion, you can tell that, like you said, he yells a lot. You can see that, but you can also see that he's very passionate and that he does care about the people he's working with. Oh, and it all and, and it comes from a good place. It's yes. just that's just the way he that's just the way he does it, I guess. You know. And it didn't seem like cruel or malicious in any way no no it's just pushing in the the heat of the moment you know yeah Mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. sure okay one more this one is from colton d he said what was the you kind of answered this already but what was the first trauma film you saw and what did you think of it it was terra firmer uh i I was stunned a little speechless uh that this was what i was now about to you know embark upon <laughs> yes. Yes. yeah yeah um but i think i think it was a good one to see mm-hmm. i think it it really did prep me 
you know, for like, all right, this is going to be your life for three months. And it, and it was, it was, was it three months <laughs> filming? Is that how yeah. long it took? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and long days, right? Didn't you start like long really days, early long in the morning? Long days, right? yeah. Right till late at night? And, 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 you know, being in, I mean, you know, I was there for most days too. Um, mm-hmm. Just because, you know, RB is in a lot of the movie. So, you know. Just about every scene. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah. good for you, right? I Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um ben do you got another question or do you want me i'm going to switch to the book now because i really want to talk about this was there any plans for a second did you ever get in any talks? No, i never got any mm-hmm. i i've i've thrown it out there like oh it'd be funny to like rb check in on rb now and he's like you know i'll jade yeah. it uh, you know what could what could RB be doing now? You know, I don't, <laughs> but no, no one, no one. That would be cool. That, but... Maybe it moved up to like a TGI Fridays or something. Yeah. Like Chili's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a Chili's manager now. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. That would be fun. Yeah. There's something wrong with the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, but then no, no, no one's ever mentioned that. But I would. Hey, you yeah, know. it'd be fun. I don't say it. Well, now you have an idea to pitch. Ben, right? get, 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 to writing. get to writing. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. Very cool. Um, all I'm right, so we do want to... <laughs> oh, no, that's cool. I had the same problem earlier. I closed the blinds. Um, I do want to talk about your new book. I yes. just finished it. I loved it. Um, Thank you. Very cool premise. Uh, it's set in the 90s, um, which is very nostalgic for me. So I, I liked uh, how you handled that. Um, it is The Mysterious Happenings at Two Morning View. I would, I would say it's a, what, like a horror, supernatural, thriller kind of coming of age story, a love story at, at its heart, I think. Okay, so let me, let me shed some light because some people may not realize this, actually. Um, maybe mm-hmm. not even you. I don't know. Maybe the not. book is, it's a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. So. Um, okay, say more. Justin is me in my 10th grade year of high school and brandon and leslie um so my best friend growing up his name was brendan i just changed it to brandon and my first girlfriend in high school her name was laura i changed it to leslie (laughs) so um everyone in the book is based on someone that i do know in my life um i did go to high school uh, um in 1996 i was that was my sophomore year of high school everyone that i mention is someone either from my high school or from my family. And the premise of the book where, where I talk about my mom and dad staying up really late at odd hours and my dad's watching, wedding ring. Watching MASH. Yeah. Uh-huh. That they still do that to this day. I mean, I was just <laughs> back there for the holidays and my wife now, my wife, uh, who's not Laura. Uh, I was going to ask. Okay. No, no, we're still <laughs> friends. We do talk still, but, um, but no, we. Did you know, she we read went. the book? She did. Yes, she did. Um, in fact, that's kind of how we reconnected because um, oh, we had cool. lost touch for a that's little a while. Ni- yeah, that's a nice story. Go but ahead. Uh, at, at like 2 a.m., my wife went downstairs for something. I don't know what, maybe to get some water or something. And my dad was making a bologna sandwich at 2 a.m. And <laughs> he's like, oh, do you want some bologna? She's like, no, <laughs> it's 2 o'clock in the morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. The, the premise of the book where where my, my parents do stay up, up late and my dad's weird wedding ring with all the weird inscriptions yes, on it, inscriptions, yep. it is a real thing. Like he, he, I still don't know what it means. Now, since the book has come out, he has offered to tell me, but I don't want to know. I told him, no, 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 no I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> um, yep. But so basically everything in the book is true up until it takes, and Ben, I don't want to spoil it for you or for anyone else listening, when it takes its kind of supernatural turn, mm-hmm. okay, that obviously is not real. That did not happen. That part that's, is made. That's up. good. But everything and, else that I mentioned, all of the likes of mine, dislikes, everything that I talk about is based off of my life. Mm-hmm. Well, it seemed very authentic. And, and I was actually going to ask, what was the inspiration? And I suspected that's, uh, that's what you were going to say. Um, but the reason why, the reason why it even came to be right okay this, this writing there's there's two reasons okay mm-hmm. um so as an actor at least my acting journey so far 
has been like a roller coaster, right? Ups and downs. Ups, ups and downs, down. sure, sure. So, um, and, and maybe for other actors who are listening to this or maybe have experienced this as well, um, you know, at the time when I started writing this, I was in a bit of a downward, I don't want to say spiral, but, you know, I was, I didn't have anything going on. I had no acting jobs, no auditions. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. as an actor, that is, can be very frustrating, right? Like, hello, this is yeah, what yeah, I thought I was supposed to be doing. And so, um, you know, I kind of got in a, not a good place. Um, and so I was, I was actually seeing someone because, you know, I was, I was depressed about this. I was like, what the hell? Like, I cannot, get any forward motion right, right. is this it kind of and and so basically and basically his advice was like okay well look you might just be knocking on a door that's not no one's answering right now you're you're wasting all your energy knock 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 no one's there if you are a creative person what can you do what else can you do creatively to to you know keep the darkness out you know because i was yeah. in a you know I, <laughs> my wife and i call it going to the dark side, right? I was going to the dark side because I just could not get any forward momentum. And so I was like, hmm, okay, he's basically presenting me with a challenge, like either stew in my darkness or find some other outlet to, you know, kind of bring myself back to the light. You know, <laughs> I don't know, I know it sounds exactly. so cheesy. But so I said, okay, you know what? I'm I'm going to I'm going to start writing something. Now, the other part of that was, now this is you can either take this for what you either will believe this part or you won't believe this part, but I also had three different psychics, three. Each in a different state. Hmm. New Jersey, Massachusetts, yeah, and yeah. I okay, maybe it was two in New Jersey and one in Massachusetts. Okay. They each individually asked me, "Have you ever done any writing?" I see you as writing something. And I said, no, I have not. Now this all kind of coincided. This was all like the perfect storm, right? So I said, you know what, fuck it. I, I, I was not the greatest student in the world, okay? Not that I was like a troublemaker. I wasn't like picking fights. I just, you know, I just, you, you have street smarts and you have book smarts. Yeah, the, of course. The book smarts just didn't really come to me as naturally, right? So yeah. I said, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that I don't know the difference between T-O and T-O-O. -O. I mean, I do now, but I didn't at the time. <laughs> I did not know the difference between T-H-E-N and T-H-A-N. But you do now, and that's what Now I, I do. <laughs> I still don't know the difference between effect and effect, E-F-F-E-C-T and A-F-F-E-C-T. I still don't know how to yeah, use those. Yeah, I mean, that trips everybody <laughs> up, I think. But I said, you know what? I don't care. That's what an editor is for. And yeah, so yeah. oh proofreader, right? I, Coffee I, editor, I, you got it covered. I took my uh I took my um therapist challenge and I took what the psychics told me and I just started writing. And I said, every day I'm gonna just write something. I, I and I'm not gonna let myself get in my way either. You know how like you know, a lot of times people, oh well, this is stupid or Right, you know, right. if you overthink it, then it, it almost, you know, you know, you, like, you become your thing, worst like, enemy, right? Yeah, I was not, I did not let myself get like that. So every day I just tried to write something or, or go back and kind of like change what I wrote the day before, you know, and, yes. and pretty soon I, I had this thing and I said, you know what? I, I don't know if it's like, look, look, it's no Stephen King, right? I'm no Stephen King. Like I'm no, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the writing isn't like, Checkoff worthy, but I felt I had a creative idea mm -hmm. and a, was a good enough storyteller that this could entertain some people. Well, I will say I think you are a talented writer, and Thank you went you. for it, and the story really stands out. Um, and I even sort of thought of some of the Stephen King stories while I was reading it. Um, so let me just plug it again: The Mysterious Happenings at Two Morning View. You can get it on Amazon. Um, and I know you have a big announcement. There's a, a sequel coming out. It's going yes, to be okay. a trilogy, yes, there is. maybe? It, it will be a trilogy. Okay. okay? But mm -hmm. I will say this. It will end at that third book. This will not be like, uh, you know, where I keep like churning them out. Um, <laughs> I, a, I think um, 
I don't know if I have like What's that the in me. I don't know why I'm laughing. What's the vampire movie, the love story? That's so Twilight. Awful. Twilight. 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 You're not gonna do like a Twilight <laughs> series. I think it's gonna end at it's gonna end after this third one. So the okay. second one comes out soon. The second one is maybe due out uh within the month it's similar right the mysterious happenings at hyde avenue uh the incub the lair of the incubus yes so it's a continuation Mm -hmm. so uh, ben ben and other listeners i don't want to give away what happens right but um it is a continuation uh where this where this one ends it picks up where that one ends and um yeah it will be a trilogy it will end at that and um that one will only be available in paperback though so ben you're gonna have to get that UK Amazon, yeah, uh, going. Well, maybe I can get it and scan each page and put it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It takes me back to the college days, right? Go to the library. But uh, mm-hmm. I think my greatest, yeah. um, I think my greatest compliment that I have received so far on the book is that it's mm-hmm. goosebumps for adults. Yes, and the only the only books I read growing up. Were go- that was the only way I was able to read was reading Goosebumps. I did not read yeah, anything else. Great. I hated reading. I, like I said, I was horrible at English. I had a tutor in math all the way through college. <laughs> but the fact but that here, here you are, yes, two people have said that now at, that that meant the world to me. Yeah, really. I could I could really. see that. Um, it also has sort of a Stranger Things vibe. I mean, it's not set in the 80s, but there's definitely the Stranger Things. And the movie Coraline came to mind. Okay, well. that's so funny you mentioned that because I have gotten Coraline, mm-hmm. The Gate, The Gate. I don't know if you've Ooh, seen The Gate. I love The Gate. I really love The Gate. And Stranger Things and, and, and Goosebumps yep. now. So if, if, if anyone listening to it is a fan of those things... Yes, so, yes. I love that yeah. part in the gate when they play like the thrash metal backwards. And it's oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, like <the> devil. <laughs> it's like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and especially if you, especially if you went to high school in the 90s and if you were a Green Day fan, yep. which Same is my here. favorite, which is my favorite band, um, mm-hmm. I think, I think you can relate to, well, I think there's something in it for everyone to relate to. Yeah, totally. No, it's a good, it's a fun read. I highly Thank recommend you. it. Check Thank it you. out. Thank you. Thank you um ben you were gonna say something we keep no no, no i was just oh. saying it was a thing when you said about making the records go back and out and i remember it being on the news in the uk like, yes trying to set up devil worshiping by playing all the <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it what was it the uh, pink floyd right dark side of the moon yeah, yeah, supposed, yeah. right yeah. it's supposed to like or oh, one of the Led Zeppelin albums had yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and you had all the mothers making the, the records. Uh-huh. Go the play yeah. it backwards. And you, had, and you had the devil chance, and you're like, no, it's just backwards. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, right. We didn't get to talk about VHS, but if okay. you are a fan of the original VHS movie, Jason is in the very first one in Tuesday, the 17th segment. Yes, yes. Um, which is awesome. Um, actually, I had a bunch of questions around that, but let me just can, ask can, you. Do we not have time? We don't have time. Uh, we're, Maybe we're we can do a of... part two of this when the second book comes out. Yes, actually, we must. Let's do a part two when the second book, book comes out. I will ask you, though, what is your favorite horror anthology movie since VHS is a horror anthology? Maybe I should have given you a heads up that that question was my, my coming. Fa- well, wait a minute. Can I answer? Okay, can I answer what my favorite horror movie is first? Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah, All right, and then and then maybe I'll go to the anthology one. Okay. See, okay. Now, when I answer this question, though, a lot of people say this isn't a horror movie. So I'd like to actually your take on it. Uh, I am a big fan of Cabin in the Woods. Oh, I love that movie. That's, that's, that's a, a horror movie, movie, right? Yeah. Don't you think, Ben? That's a horror movie. Definitely. I love I, the, the, the twist the whole, at the end. That movie. Mm-hmm. yeah so i said that I, I said that to someone they're like well would you consider that a horror movie i was like well yeah i mean there's zombies it's, in it yeah, it's there's... definitely a horror movie yeah it's, right i mean it's like a horror, horror com- comedy, comedy? Uh, yeah horror i was gonna comedy, say comedy maybe? i mean like Shaun of the dead i would say is a horror movie or... yeah oh that's a good one yeah um yeah. uh tucker and dale versus evil that's a horror movie yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, then, whoever said it wasn't it. We got your friend. The funniest line in a horror movie. <laughs> and I'll say my favorite. Well, okay. I won't say this is my favorite horror movie, but if 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 the point of a horror movie is to scare you, right? Mm-hmm. Then yeah, okay. I then I still have to go with the original Exorcist. 
Yes, hands down. Yeah, definitely. just something about that movie just still to this day just gets me. Mm -hmm. I uh, someone told me I heard that they're gonna remake it and do like another movie. I really hope they don't do that. Um, well, they are. They're doing a trilogy like they did with Halloween. Um, yeah. And I know Ellen Burstyn is signed on to be really. Mm -hmm. Just the, to. Uh, I remain optimistic. Jason up here. Yeah. Horror. Horror. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, the see the thing. Mini supercomputer saves the day. The, again. the <laughs> thing. The thing about like. Okay, so like, I, I, I mean, the original Exorcist, like. You, you think about that that was 1971 right mm -hmm. yeah the the makeup or however they did what they did I, it, it's like even with all the technology today i think it's still more effective definitely what they did back then even with what? max von Sydow, he was 44 when he played the the priest and they oh, made him really like, really yeah. he was 44 yeah wow. well, it was before, um oh, it was in fact Gordon. So and he, he played Ming Mercy. He's like so young in that. And that was my yeah. see, that was my problem with when they redid Fright Night, right? Like the original Fright yeah. Night, amazing, right? Yes. Yeah. You watch yeah, the down. remake yeah. now, and at the end, when they CGI the when they CGI like Jerry, like, you know, mm -hmm. it's just not it's like eh, this. So yeah. I hope they don't do that with yeah. the Exorcist remake. I hope they try to like do what they did in practical the effects yeah i mean poltergeist I, is all practical effects it's everything was i don't think there was anything that was um, um or, or i'm trying to think there was nothing green screened i no, know that no, no. Um, no even the uh the like, when they breathed and uh, you could see the the cold air and stuff they yeah. were the room and everything so yeah it's all is that what they did yeah they oh i always wondered what they did yeah, refrigerated the room, and when I had the coats on and stuff, oh, they, real, they, yeah, 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 they need. Yeah. See, I never really looked into it that much because I've it's, watched it. So scary, me. <laughs> it scares me. Like, um, it's yeah, so scary. Yeah, yeah. So and that um, one scene that they deleted, but she's like a spider walking down the stairs. Yeah, just like yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think now it's kind of like you're like, oh, well, they just like do, 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 do. Well, like. Do. I also say I know like somebody's head can't turn around without killing them breaking them and you're not going to see like someone project or like stuff like that but it still had that grounded feel to it that made mm -hmm. it feel like that graininess right yeah, that I graininess think, yeah and i hope they don't change this that much that i don't want different dimensions and crawling on the ceiling and stuff i liked it where it was grounded and yeah, yeah so i hope yeah. it stays like that i i have a feeling it won't but yeah maybe yeah. someone well, will Maybe we'll someone see. involved with the project will hear this and be like, yeah, Jason and Ben and Aaron are right. Let's bring them on. <laughs> Let's bring them on as consultants. Yeah, and, uh, I, I, like I always that. say I to Aaron, remember. I'm a big fan of sometimes less is more. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Well, like the so, first Blair Witch Project, less is more. It's what yeah, you don't, it's what you don't see is what is most scary. I mean, that's why Jaws was so revolutionary, right? Like you don't see the shark until the end, right? Ben's favorite movie. Wait, did I did touch on his, something? Oh, look at that. His summer chair, that. his new beach chair. Yeah, yeah, right? I mean, isn't that why yeah. that yeah, has that? Was supposed to be seen yeah. a lot more where it wouldn't work in the water. It was like, um, this is actually scary where we're not seeing. So, yeah, it's yeah. all mm -hmm. completely. Any, anyways, who, who am I? Who am I to question these things? I, I mean, I don't know, but I, that's yeah. just my personal opinion. Um, I just think you, that grittiness there's yeah, just something definitely. about it that like definitely. gets under your skin agree. you know I agree yeah so anyways um, um all right well we we are running short on time but i wanted okay. to at least get one or two horror trivia questions in okay okay um let's right. see uh -oh. Jason, I don't... you pick the category paranormal monster gory psychological comedy or slasher <laughs> <laughs> i just have a feeling i'm not going to know any of these what, what was the categories again uh paranormal monster i don't know if you can see Oh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, cool. Um, all right. Well, let's try comedy for the first one, just out of curiosity. Comedy. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is the name of the vampire death dealer Kate Beckinsale plays in the Underworld film series? What's her character name? Should it's I... uh, Celine. 
Yeah. Hey. hey. I didn't even know that. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Or maybe my wife and I were more. actually just watching that movie. Oh, uh, such recently. a good movie. All Tend right, one more. Um, I'm curious what monster has. Let's see, monster. All right, we'll do the same card. Mon what color is that? I think it's yellow. Yellow. All right. All right. What are the? Uh, no, we just did that one. Um, before heading to television's Ponderosa Ranch. Which actor played the title character in the film I Was a Teenage Werewolf in 1957? Oh my God, I am not going to know that. I'm really no sorry. Clue. I'm really sorry. Michael Landon. Highway oh. to Heaven. Huh. Oh, okay, wait. Let's do Paranormal, just out of curiosity, really fast. All right, Paranormal is green. Uh, let's see. Which rock singer played the witch in the framing segment of the anthology film Tales from the Dark Side, 1990? Do you know this one? No. <laughs> it's a witch, so it's got to be a female, right? Which, um, which rock star? A rock singer. Rock singer? From the 80s, 90s. I don't know. Maybe uh, Alice Cooper? Joan Jett. Oh, is the, it is a female? Oh, it says witch, so it's got to be, I'm guessing, Joan a Jett's female. A good, that's a good... Is that Benatar? Oh, it's Debbie Harry. Ah. A, a oh, I was going to say Blondie. No way. You are going to say Blondie? <laughs> God. <laughs> That's the only person I could think. I was going to say, oh, is that? Hey, one out of three is not bad. One you want to do, why don't we do a gory one just for fun? Uh, who directed the film Antichrist 2009, where William Defoe played a character credit only as, credited only as he? I know this one. You do know this one? Yes. I don't know. Uh, it's a I'll Lars, it. Lars Very von disturbing Turner. movie. Very just That log in the shed. Oh, my God. What was the wait? What was the director's name? Lars von Trier. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to Google. I'm gonna have to look this one up. See that right there. Oh, there it is. Lars von Trier. Ah. He All right. Some, he does some crazy films. If you haven't seen Antichrist, I have not. Should I? Well, maybe watch it alone. Don't watch okay. it with the kids. <laughs> Don't don't watch it with no no. Kitties. Is there some yeah yeah definitely not. <laughs> very, um, very all strange. right, well this has been awesome, Jason. Thank you so okay. much for talking oh, with thanks us. Thanks for having me. Check out Poltergeist. Check out um, his book Mysterious Happenings at Two Morning View, um, and look for his new book that's coming out. And also check out the original VHS. Yeah, I'm sorry about the sun now. It's so uh, maybe this is a good time oh. to kind of. Oh, the lighting is great. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, it's good. Okay. <laughs> thank you guys so we'll do this again yeah we yeah. got to do it again so like always if you want us to cover anything in a future video add a comment and we will consider it yep go to instagram follow our page over there a and b horror movies um if you get going past this hit the like and subscribe because it helps us cheers for watching and buy some merchandise i'm gonna buy mine uh you send me how to do it right yeah yes yeah. the shirt that ben that has shirt. i like that shirt horror. yeah 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 <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>